Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar General haul. I found some super cute items at Dollar General, but quickly before I get started, I wanted to show you guys these super cute gnomes from Dollar Tree. I didn't want to wait until my next Dollar Tree haul because these are going to disappear really fast and I wanted you guys to be able to go out and find them if it's something you like. So I showed you guys the bulk of the gnome items. I got the towels, the pot holders, the oven mitts, the tumblers. I even got the little ornaments that look like this. So I had ran to Jack in the Box because my DoorDash driver brought me the wrong order and I happened to see my boss in the parking lot because it's the same parking lot as Dollar Tree and she flagged me down. She's like, we got these super cute gnomes and I put three of them aside for you. So I thought that was really nice of her. And they have little bean bags in the bottom so that way they don't fall over. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for those. So I'm actually going to show you guys these larger pictures first so I can get them out of the way. And I was only going to get one of these pictures but I stood in the aisle for like 10 minutes and I couldn't make a decision on which picture. So I just bought both of them because they were only $10 each. And let me tell you that the camera does no justice for how pretty these pictures actually are. They have this really pretty fine shimmer on them. This one has the pretty trees and it matches the color scheme of the newer home decor that I've been purchasing. So here's the one with the trees for $10. And this actually also matches a lot of these new Christmas items that I've purchased. So I might somehow try to put them near each other. The second one that I got, you're probably going to think, what the heck, that's not even a picture. It's just these like brush strokes, but it's got all of this really pretty shimmer on it as well. And they're just going to look so nice. So there's both of those. And then let me show you the last larger item and then I'll get into the regular items. So I also got this super cute mat. And I love these mats. I just hate how the bristles get everywhere. It's got the super cute truck. It says Merry Christmas. It was $8. They had lots of different um, style of rugs, mats. And I actually just ordered a new rug or mat, whatever you want to call it, just like this off of Amazon. It's this brown color and in black cursive, it says Home Sweet Home. But it also came with a buffalo plaid black and white checkered rug for underneath. So I'm going to put that on the porch and then put this on top of it at Christmas. And with the red and white checkers on the truck, it's just going to look so cute. And the buffalo plaid mat that came with my rug off of Amazon is machine washable. So the next item that I got was this really pretty Santa. Let me move these gnomes back so I have more room. So I got this really pretty Santa. Tell me he is not so pretty. It's got the shimmer all over him. The fur. He's got his little satchel. And he was only $8, you guys. Something like this at Hobby Lobby would be like 30 bucks. So I got him. I also got this one. This little guy was only $3. He's also got the really pretty shimmer on him. There's the $3 price tag. I also got, and I'm going to put all of these like in the same area. And then like I said, with that tree picture in the background somehow, because it's got a lot of the same colors and the shimmer, I think it's just going to look really pretty. So I got this tree. It's got the kind of corkscrew looking stump. This one was only $5. They had a much taller one for $8, but because I had went so crazy, I decided to save a couple dollars and get the smaller one. Also, I want to put it out there, you guys, that I use the Dollar General app. There is literally no point not to use it. It saved me, I think, $23.00 because I had coupons for some Febreze items, 
um, the General Mills cereal that I purchased, just different items that I purchased, the Old Spice that I got. And it's literally just downloading an app, selecting the coupons, and it saves you money. It doesn't cost anything. Every Saturday, they have five off of 25. So it probably would have been better for me to go today, but I didn't. So then I got this really pretty snowflake and not going to lie, this is something that I wouldn't mind having out year round. It's got the really pretty kind of iridescent sequence, the mini pearls, and this was only $5. I'm like really surprised by the prices on these super pretty pieces. This is really heavy, nice quality. Let me see. Okay, then I'll show you these stockings. These stockings I thought were so pretty, and I did just purchase the buffalo plaid black and white stockings from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know like what theme I'm going to go with this year, but these were just way too pretty to pass up. They're velvet, and they have all of these really pretty colorful gems. So I got the red one, and these were $5 each, and they're actually pretty large, so that's a great price. They also had the pillows to match these. They were $8, so I got the red, and then I got the green, and I wanted the blue one because they had red, and green, red, green, and blue in the pillows, but they didn't have any blue in the stockings, or I definitely would have purchased it. Tell me those are not so pretty, so I cannot wait to hang those up somewhere. Then I purchased this little set of light up presents. The set I got is red and green and then inside there's a medium and a small one and they're different colors. There's one that's all green with the red bow and then one that's blue. I don't know the I don't remember the color of bow on it, but they light up and they were only ten dollars. I'm thinking about going back and getting the silver and gold set um, and putting this set outside and then putting the silver and gold set inside to match all of this pretty shimmery stuff that I purchased. So then I picked up these Glade sprays and I downloaded a coupon for these. It was, or wait, did I download the coupon or was it just a coupon that was, you know, the store had selected? It was buy three, get one free. And I think these were 89 cents or 99 cents. So I got three apple of my pie and then one of the pumpkin spice things up. Um, I wouldn't normally choose the cinnamon scent, but they only had four different scents. So it was kind, kind of limited as to what I could pick. I should have dumped some of this stuff out of the bags in advance. I had a coupon where if you purchased two Febreze items, you got $3 off. So I got two of the Febreze um, refills. And I don't know if I'm going to use these or if I'm going to like put them one of them in Robert's stocking. He loves scent stuff. I know that's weird, but... He has a Febreze one in his room and I always buy him sprays and, you know, like the oil refills and the wax stuff. So there's that. I picked up, let me pause the video and dump some of this stuff out so I don't have to keep leaning over to grab the stuff. Okay, sorry about that. So the next item that I got was a little ornament and as you can see, it was only one dollar. It says Kringles, Candies, Sugar Plums, and Peppermints, North Pole's Finest, and I think the bulk of their ornaments were a dollar, and they had really cute ornaments. I got this one. It's got the little, um, I don't know, whatever this thing is, bucket, and it says Christmas ornament. It's got the holly berry, the little plaid, and then the little pieces of the pine. I thought these were really cute. These were also a dollar. It says snowballs for five cents. And there was, I think, one of this one left and then a couple of this color left. So I got two of the red and black ones, one of this one. Here's all of them together. Move those out of the way. I got this little wooden snowman. He was also a dollar. 
joy to the world. And he's got the little burlap. I thought that was really cute. There's this one. It's the kind of metal. It's got the little plaid bow. Very cute. I got two packs of the old school tinsel. And I know that's like kind of tacky, but I actually was thinking about doing a tree with tinsel last year, but I couldn't find tinsel anywhere. I didn't think about ordering it online. These were only a dollar each and not every year, but a lot of the years I've done two big trees because I like to do one that's like pretty and then I like to do a more cutesy Christmassy one. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that this year with how bad I feel with my disease, but... If I do a cutesy one, or maybe even a pretty one, like a white one with all the shimmery stuff, the tinsel might add to it and make it look kind of glitzy. So we'll see. Then I got these two packs of stickers. These were a dollar each. I thought these were really cute. They have this kind of wooden look to them. And it's got the snowman, the igloo. This one was my favorite. It's got the little truck. Look at that little um, cup of cocoa. The Santa... So I will more than likely use these for greeting cards, like the envelopes and stuff like that. I got this pack of the ornaments. And I actually have little mittens like this. I think they're white with like an iridescent um, rhinestone on them, if I'm remembering correctly, and then white fur. But these ones are in the black and white buffalo plaid. So I thought those were super cute. They had these really pretty little... Um, monograms and I was surprised that they were a dollar because they're mirrored and I can never find an R you guys. I bought the glittery ones from Dollar Tree and I found two J's but I didn't find an R. Same thing with these mirrored ones so I don't know normally I'd put them on the stockings but that would look tacky if mine and Jordan's had the monograms and Robert Robert's didn't. Then I just picked up a pack of tape for a dollar nothing exciting. I got this pack of paper towel. This was $2.75. It's just the Dollar General brand. And it is 152 ply sheets per roll, 160.42 square feet. And the paper towel was pretty wiped. There was a decent amount of toilet paper, but people are hoarding toilet paper and different items again. I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. So I'm subscribed to toilet paper. However, I did purchase two small packs because we needed them right now. And my um, subscription doesn't come until the 8th. So then I picked up these little colognes. These were a dollar each. I don't know what these are going to smell like, but I thought these would be nice to put in Robert and Jordan's stocking. They both like cologne. It says gift for him and it says compared to in Viticus by Paco Rabane. I don't know, you guys. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong. I picked up these Mother's Reindeer Reindeer Game Circus Animal Cookies. So these will probably go to Robert, you know, next to a stocking or something. I don't know. I got this as a stocking stuffer for Jordan. It's the Febreze Auto Whispering Woods. He's constantly buying these little um, car fresheners. He likes them. This was one of the Old Spice items that I had a digital coupon for. It said if you purchased one Old Spice item, it was either $2 off or $3 off, and I thought that was perfect. I always buy lots of scent stuff for Jordan and Robert for Christmas, so this might go in Robert's stocking. They also had a little section um, with, like, gift sets, so... I got this gift set of the Axe. It was $10. It's the Dark Temptation, which I really like the Dark Temptation. I think it smells good. It's got the deodorant, the body wash, and then the spray. I got two of these Russell Stover King Size Marshmallow Milk Chocolates. Those will be stocking stuffers for Jordan and Robert. I got both of these little sixlets. I thought these were really pretty. The little sixlets kind of look 
like pearly and iridescent. So these will just be added to gifts for, you know, like any of my nieces or just if I need presents for little girls, I'll throw those in with it. I always get these every year and I will put, let me see. So it looks like I got two, four, six. So Jordan and Robert will each get a Reese's and then one of them will get a Sixlets, one of them will get a Hershey's and then these two will go to Robert's twin brothers with whatever toys I get them. I like to start buying all this stuff in advance little by little because if I wait until right before Christmas, it just costs way too much money on top of bills and stuff like that. So then every year I buy these for Grammy. She loves the chocolate covered uh, Cordial Cherries. There's two different brands. I don't remember which one she likes, but I just grab whatever ones I see. Um, I think these were either a dollar or two dollars. I think these were two dollars because they had the half size and I think those were a dollar. I got a second set and I will just throw those in with somebody's gift as well. Let's see. I got these. These were a dollar each. These will be uh, stocking stuffers and then also, you know, thrown in with other people's gifts. They have the really cute little puppies on them and I buy these every year. Usually I get them from Dollar Tree and I love the fact that it's Russell Stover so the chocolate doesn't taste like mocklet and weird because I cannot stand off-brand chocolate, you guys. It's just disgusting. I picked up this pack of chocolate and it's name brand. It's got the Reese's Mystery Shapes, the Reese's Pieces that come in the little cup and the Kit Kats and this was only $5 for 11.23 ounces of chocolate. So that's for Robert and Jordan's stocking. Let's see, sorry guys. Come on. Then I got, okay, so I paused the video again. So the next item that I got, which I thought was really pretty in the Christmas section, was this candle holder. It's the kind of mercury glass, and this was only $2. They had these, I think, in smaller ones in red, and this is really heavy duty as well. They had these really cute towels in the Christmas section for a dollar. And I like to buy these cute towels, one for my house for decorative purposes. And then I also like to do gift baskets, as you guys know. And I thought it would be cute to pair this towel with this ornament because they look the same. And then I also have a pot holder. It's not the exact same theme, but they would be cute, all three of them in a gift basket, I think with a couple of other things. So there's this one, it says Mrs. Claus Cookie Cafe Warm Your Heart. It's got the gingerbread house. Here's the pot holder. I thought this was actually really cute for a dollar. Home for the holidays, believe in Santa. There's this towel. It says have, have a holly jolly Christmas. It's got the buffalo plaid sleigh. This one. It says mistletoe kisses and candy wishes. That would also be cute with that little ornament. In the little aisle where they have all of the dollar items, they had a huge stack of these sanitizing wipes for a dollar and you get 40. So I purchased four of these because we use these quite often and they're pretty hard to find. I definitely did not buy them all up. There was still a bunch more. Um, I looked at the ingredients and... I was trying to see if what was in the ingredients would actually kill germs, but I have to Google it to see because I didn't see just alcohol. I saw propylene, glycol, and then some, a couple other names that I couldn't pronounce or remember. I picked up two packs of these Fisher Price baby wipes. These were a dollar each. They also had lots of these and we keep baby wipes in both bathrooms. So that's why I got those. 
I got these basketball shorts for Robert, and these will be for Christmas. I know it will be winter, obviously, when he gets these, but he goes to the gym every day with his aunt. Uh, Monday through Friday, they do like this 45 minute class and he wears basketball shorts. These are in the zone pro and these were only $6. So I got the gray pair and they are kind of thin, but for $6. And I also ordered him a couple of shirts off of Amazon. So I will pair like a shirt with a pair of shorts in a gift box, wrap it. That's one present. And then I'll do the same, you know, with this pair of shorts, I'll put it with a shirt. So here's the black pair. Let me pull this bag over here. I got a pack of the Caress Bar Soap. This was $2.75 for three of the bars of soap. I got a couple different hand soaps, which I told you guys that I mainly use the Bath & Body Works foaming hand soap. But when I go to the regular store, I will pick up just a couple of the hand soaps because... You just never know now, like when is going to be the next time that people hoard all of these items. So I just want to put it out there once again that I'm not like stacking up a huge pile of this stuff. We're using it by the week. So we're running out because I don't want anyone attacking me in the comments. But I got two of the liquid antibacterial in the spring water. And then I got one of the liquid antibacterial in the gold. And I do like the gold. Um, the smell kind of reminds me of my childhood, but the only thing I don't like about this is it leaves like orange drips in the sink. So I don't know. So then let me get this bag. I had a coupon for, actually I didn't have a coupon. I don't think for this box of cereal. I just got the post cocoa pebbles, which I rarely buy this type of cereal, but I don't know. I was hungry while I was shopping. This is the one that I had a coupon for. I think it said buy any General Mills cereal and get a dollar or two dollars off. This is 10.4 ounces and I actually got this for Robert. He doesn't eat a whole lot of cereal at all, but he does eat that cereal sometimes. I got this box of the Rice Krispie Treats. It's the 16 value pack of them. And I might actually take a couple of those out and put them in my bag of Christmas candy and then put some of those in Robert and Jordan's stocking as well. I got this box of the Turtles candy and I didn't get this as a gift, you guys. I got this for myself because like I said, I was hungry. And then by the time I got home, I forgot about it. I picked up this pack of the Velveeta Original Shells and Cheese. I had a coupon for this digital coupon and then they had a digital coupon for these nor pastas it was buy three get one free so i got two of the parmesan pastas and then i got two of the chicken pastas this isn't um like a pasta that i would buy a lot of but if it's buy three get one free and they're only a dollar then i'm definitely gonna buy them because we can pair these with our dinners so let me make sure that I don't have anything else to show you guys. Oh, I wanted to show you guys um, this cute towel that I got for Grammy off of Amazon. This was only $5. It says, who needs Santa when you have Grammy? And it's by Primitives by Kathy, LOL, made you smile. And it tells their little story about how they built their company. And, ooh, I didn't see that. How cute. Their little company. Look, they put it on the towel. And Grammy loves the flower sack towels. And they have, um, where is it? The little, th right there. It's like a little thing that you can hang it up from. So I think that'll be a cute little um, addition to whatever gift basket or gift bag that I make for her for Christmas. I think that is everything when I'm done filming, I'll probably see something and be like, dang, I didn't show them that. I know that the video was super bouncy and all over the place, but it was hard for me to like grab everything and I couldn't have everything out of the bags because my space is so small. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys in my next haul. Bye guys.